Hey, welcome back. So today we're going to add a little bit more look capability to our player. After um, playing it a little bit and moving around, some of my students have suggested that they would like to be able to look up and pan around a little bit. And um, I kind of agree after uh, playing the game a little bit and depending on the type of uh, level that you're building, you may want to have the player be able to look and uh, take a look at some of the things that you have in your scene. So um, we're going to do that real quick. But real quick, uh, first, if you are just now joining me, um, again, right here, putting on the Fritz 3D visualization, you can jump in and catch up on this project and then uh, get to where we're at today. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, move on real quick. Okay, so what I'm talking about is uh, here with my player. So if I hit play my demo game, uh, you can see that basically now I have the ability to pan all around and take a look everywhere around. So that's what we're going to do in this right here. If I hit play on this demo one, maybe there we go. Right now I don't have that capability. I can only look left and right and it's pretty good, but um, I think the ability to look up and right up and down may add a little bit more to our game. So let's go ahead and uh, real quick again in your content, uh, go to your blueprints and then go to your pawns and get your uh, BP My Player. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit of space right in here. So I'm gonna grab this camera fade and drag that up a little bit. And I think I'm gonna put it underneath this one. So I'm gonna drag that up too. So this is just going to be, uh, like I said, real quick. We're gonna go to Project Settings, okay? And then uh, if you don't remember where that is, that's under Edit, Project Settings, okay? And then open up this window. And what we wanna do is we wanna go down to Input. So down here under Engine, Input, and this is gonna be an axis mapping that we're gonna add in. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the little plus button next to axis mapping. And I'm just gonna call this mouse up, down, okay? And for my input, obviously it's gonna be my mouse and it's gonna be the Y, cause we already have the X, that's the left and right. So this will be our Y. And I'm gonna put a negative one for my scale factor so that it uh, moves with the direction of my mouse. Uh, you may not like that setup, and you can always leave it as one, and so you can always come back and change that. So now that we have that, I'm just going to close that project settings. We don't need it anymore. I'll go back into my player. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and right-click right here, and I'm going to look for my mouse. Up. And down. There it is. And this is the one we want, the one with the big arrow next to it. That's our axis input. Okay. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to add controller and we want controller pitch input. So pitch up and down. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and connect these together just like that. I'm going to highlight it, hit C on my keyboard and just call this mouse up and down look. Okay. Or maybe it would have been better to look up and down, but anyway, and then if you want to, you can, of course, change the color to match the other colors you have in here. We'll get close anyway. All right, I'm going to compile it, save it. I'm going to go back to my main screen. And now if I hit play on my keyboard, I should have that additional ability. It doesn't affect the way the ball rolls, really. Um, so there you have it. Nice, quick, and easy. And um, that's really kind of it for this one. Uh, just a real quick addition to our player so that you have the additional look capability. And you might find this one uh, handy for the next video that's about to come out. Uh, we're going to do an um, addition to uh, putting some font so that we can uh, put some text into our uh, game, sort of as instructions to our players. If you have a complicated game, you might want to kind of send them in a specific direction. So anyway, if... Uh, if you liked what you saw, please like the video, subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.